This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Yardimos. Today we're going to take a look at problems that contain percents. Uh, so first of all, we have to understand how do these problems look. So uh, let me put a basic type of problem up here so we can kind of analyze it or at least deconstruct it. So this is not a problem. This is more of a statement. 10% of 500 is 50. Now we know that this is true for um, a set of different facts. We know it's true because what does percent mean? Percent means out of 100. So when we see this, we really think 10 out of 100. When we see the word of in this type of scenario, we think multiplication. And most of the time, uh, the word of does mean multiplication. We see the word, or sorry, the number 500, so we write that. And is usually, when you convert that into mathematics, means equals. All right, so really, this problem means we're taking 10%, or 10 out of 100, and we're multiplying it by 500. So the first thing I'm going to do is put 500 over 1, making that into a fraction, and we're going to multiply. So I can multiply across and get 5,000. Multiply 100 times 1, get 100. And if I do take 5,000 divided by 100, I do get 50. So this mathematics does make sense. It works on a mathematical level and it works on an intuitive level as well if you know something about percents. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you three problems that are going to use this format and I'm going to show you how to solve problems uh, that have this format but also have a letter in there somewhere. Like we will not know one piece of the puzzle. We may not know the percent we may not know this of number, or we may not know the number over here by itself, the is number. Okay, let's get started. Here is our first example. So for this problem, we could see that we don't know what the number is here in front. It says, what number is 20% of 60? So when we try to figure out how to calculate this problem, we're going to replace wherever you see that word what with an x or whatever letter you'd like. Is means equal. 20% means 20 over 100. And of means times. Okay, so if I'm uh, going to be dealing with this number, I might as well put it over 1, change it into a fraction. And the way we multiply fractions is we multiply straight across. Uh, some people like to cancel first, uh, like in this case, I notice I could divide this by 10 and this by 10. So if I could divide both those numbers by 10, sometimes then it's a little bit easier to do. And really, we could even reduce some more. I could take these two numbers, I could divide both of those numbers by 10. All right, if I divide them by 10, I'm going to get 2. In one. So really I'm taking 2 times 6, which is 12. Because 2 times 6 is 12. 1 times 1 is 1. It's basically going to be 12 over 1, which is just equal to 12. So what number is 20% of 60? We would say 12 is 20% of 60. It's a great kind of problem for calculating tips. Uh, sometimes the standard for a really good tip is 20%. So I would leave $12 on a $60 bill. All right, anyway, let's get on to our second example. And here it is. All right, so again, we're going to make some conversions here. Let's change the is into equal. What percent? Well, now this means, of course, the word what means we're trying to calculate some value there. And percent means over 100 times, of means times, 500. OK, so what are we going to do? We're going to do a little bit of algebra. So in order to do algebra, we probably should clean up here the right side. Like, this is 500 over 1. And if I multiply those together, I'm going to get 
500x over 100. Just multiplying numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Well, really, that's just 5x. That's 120 on the left. And if I divide here, I'm going to get 5x. All right, last here, since I'm multiplying the variable by 5, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. So if I divide both sides by 5, I know that 5 goes into 120 24 times. Sometimes we're given discounts in stores. If it was a $500 item and they take off $120, you're wondering, what sale was that? It turns out that this was a 24% sale. Great way to check sale prices. Moving on, let's get to our third problem. Again, we've got some conversions here to do for this problem. 30 is 80% of one number. Okay, well, to do it, let's start converting. So the is is equal. The 80% means 80 over 100. Of means times. What number? That means x. We don't know what number it is. We're going to replace the what number phrase is a x. Okay, so really, what does the right side of this problem mean? Well, I'm really taking this x over 1. I could reduce this 80 over 100. I could divide this by 10 and divide this by 10. So that would give me 8 tenths. I could reduce it further. I could divide this by, hmm, let's see, I could divide that by 2. I could divide that by 2. So I would have 4 fifths. So really, the right side of this equation, if I take 4 fifths times x, is going to be 4 fifths x. In order to get rid of this 4 fifths, if you really think about what's happening here, you could see that I'm dividing by 5. So what's the opposite? You multiply both sides by 5. Well, let's see. I'm also multiplying x by 4. So what's the opposite? You divide by 4. If you look very closely, you'd see I'm just multiplying by the reciprocal of 4 fifths. So multiplying the reciprocal by both sides. You can see everything's going to cancel here. The 4's cancel, the 5's cancel, everything except x cancels. And on the left side, we could do some canceling of our own over here. Uh, or I can multiply across and get 150 over 4 and do my canceling now otherwise known as reducing. So I could divide this by 2. Divide this by 2. So I would get 75 over 2. Or in other words, if I take 75 and I divide it by 2, I'm going to get 37.5. Okay, so there you go. 30 is 80% of what number? Well, 30 is 80% of 37.5. There you have it. We just saw three examples that deal with percent word problems. Make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our other interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and text-based lessons. Take care.